Good evening. In this video, I wanted to uh, look at the reason why uh, individuals end up in hell. It's uh, and the uh, uh, reason a person ends up in hell is not because he sins. The reason a person ends up in hell is because of his unbelief, and uh, that is the one thing that keeps him out of heaven. Uh, the sins show he's a sinner, and he needs a new nature. That is why sins are talked about, uh, particular sins are talked about an individual to an individual. Not that those sins are keeping him out of heaven, but the fact that he has a, a nature that needs to be changed. Uh, in Revelation uh, 20, uh, it is said that the uh, uh, verse uh, 20, uh, verse 12, uh, and I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake, like a lake of fire. So that is the key. Your name has to be in the book of life. How do you get in? How does your name get in that book of life? By faith, by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and what He did for you on the cross. Uh, that he died for your sins on the cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. And uh, that is uh, the criteria uh, to get in your get your name in the book of life. What keeps a man? Uh, uh, out of the book, of, his name out of the book of life is on belief, and uh, that is what the issue is. When uh, he's talking about repentance, he must repent of his unbelief. He must change his mind about his unbelief and then become belief. That is the simple fact. First, he comes under conviction, and it's conviction of sin, uh, recognition that he is dead, that he is dead in Adam, uh, and that's the recognition that his sins show him. His particular sins he is not uh, told to uh, repent of because they are not what keep, uh, are keeping him out of heaven. What's keeping him out of heaven is his nature. That's why the Lord said you must be born again. He must have a new nature. And there's only one way to have a new nature, and that is by faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, so the issue is not sins. Sins don't keep a man out of heaven. His unbelief does. Christ died for the, sin, uh, the sins of the world on that cross. And uh, what a man does when he comes to that cross is either he accepts that, that free gift, or he rejects it. But he's never told uh, to uh, give up his sins. His sins, giving up his sins, are not going to get him in heaven. He needs a new nature, and uh, that's what he must repent of. He must repent of the fact that uh, he's, he comes to the cross in unbelief. He must now come to the cross in belief, in faith, that uh, he's depending on what, what the Lord Jesus Christ did for him on the cross. And if he does that, then he, then he receives a new nature. He was regenerated. That's what, he, that's what Romans 5 is talking about, uh, getting out of the line of Adam, in which all die, and getting into the line of Christ, in which all live. And uh, your name, in order to be in the book of life, uh, has to be uh, there because you believed and you received that free gift of salvation. That is what keeps a man out of, of heaven rejection of that free gift, not particular sins. The sins show that you're a sinner. That shows your nature. You need a new nature. And when you repent, when you when you turn to the cross in faith, that faith means that you have repented. You've changed your mind about your unbelief. You, you've done so under conviction because the Holy Spirit has shown you your destination as a lost sinner. Uh, your nature uh, is, is determined that your nature is going to hell because that you're, you're dead, that's your nature, you're dead in sin, in trespasses, uh, you're spiritually dead, uh, and uh, you need to be spiritually alive, you need your name in the book of life, and there's only one way of doing that, that's in faith, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he did for you on the cross, and that's why when you come to the cross, you come with only one issue, faith and faith alone, amen, thank you.